All right, Solomon Mikeum. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baasham Yahushai, Baasham Racha Kodash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I like to say Shalom to the elect. This is word in our true faith and sincerity. And today, I just want to get into a lesson on how this is the time the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai is going to overthrow the so called white man. And uh, these are one of the many signs, you know. Uh, <clears throat> before I even get into the article, let's start off with this in the book of St. Luke. Concerning the Lord gave us certain things to look to to show us that we are in the end of this world, this age. So this is the book of St. Luke 21, verse 25. It says, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon. And in the stars, see? And that's what you're saying. These different signs in heavens. You know, the heavens. Dealing with the, the different constellations lining up. You know, the, the different planetary alignments. Solar eclipse, lunar eclipse. You know, the different types of moons. As well as uh, chariot signs, so-called UFO signs, man. Which we know to be the, uh, you know, the chariots, angels of the Lord, the heavenly hosts. This is what our Lord told us will, will be uh, the signs in these times. You know? And, and, and a nigga will say, yeah, you know, uh, the moon always uh, did this. It had always been an eclipse. We're not this frequent. You know? So it says, uh, there should be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity. And that's contributing to it as well. You know, the different heavenly uh, signs, such as the chariots. <clears throat> it said the sea and the waves roar. So it just shows that we are. These are the different. Uh, like I said the Lord gave us these different tokens to look to. And one of those was the different signs in heaven. <clears throat> in the heaven, you know. So, the article, uh, it's alive dot com, and it and it reads: Washington State is the number one in UFO sightings in the U.S. report, which overall, you know, uh, Babylon the Great, which is America, has the most sightings. Out of all the, the, um, you know, without all, than all the countries in the world, man. Why? Because this is the house of the thief. You know? So, uh, let's just, let's just get a look. It says, uh, your best chances of seeing a UFO happens to be in Washington State, according to new data from the National UFO Reporting Center. <laughs> it says uh, New Frock, which have been around since 1974. See, so this is not something that's on the fly. Uh, this this man has always uh, he knew about the the heavenly host Yahweh Shine the angels, man. You know, he said reports. He said reports. Washington residents have reported. Uh, 6,812 UFO sightings dating back to the 40s. See? That's about 88 sightings per 100,000 residents, more than double the rate of reports from most states. And these are the ones that has been reported. These just is the ones they got on paper, so to speak. But we know that this man, he he know, he's, he have seen these things in, heavens, in the heavens. And that has caused him to react. Now you got the space force all of a sudden. Like out of all this time you've been on the earth, you so called went to the moon and back, as this devil said. Cause we know this man ain't went to the moon, but now you you doing a space force. Why is that? Because you know them chairs. That's the heavenly host, man. It says New York chairs at forty fifth. On the list with 28 sightings per 100,000 residents or 55 
it's like 5,528 sites. And just going back, it's those are the ones that have just been reported. So, but we know it's, it's a plethora of, of uh, sightings, and it's it's the norm now. Why do you think it's just uh, you have articles and things these people are, you know, sharing light on? Okay, well, it is some out there. We don't know what it is. But because really the spirit of Yahweh by Shema is overwhelming, man. You ain't got no choice but to acknowledge prophecy now. And this is part of it. The chariots, man. That's part of the movement. You know, the, the, the vehicles of our salvation. I tell you, this is how the Lord is going to defend Jerusalem as birds flying. But now we can see where it makes sense now. You know, <clears throat> let me jump down. It's uh, <clears throat> so like, that's pretty much the point I want to get. You know, uh, the Pentagon is being brought up. Uh, it says UFO sightings are so commonplace now that the Pentagon. See, and matter of fact, let's just see some. Okay, yep, the Pentagon. It says the Pentagon building serve, serving as the head of, headquarters of the U.S. Department of Defense, see? So, mean what concerning war, man? This is war talk. When you bring up the Pentagon, automatically, that's war talk. So as you can see, the so-called UFOs and the Pentagon is in the same breath now. Why? Because that is the war in heaven, man. You know, this man, this devil going to have his fighter jets. And he, his warp mind. Think he's going to come against your house shy, man. That's a sick nigga, man. So it says, um, UFO sightings are so commonplace now that the Pentagon is opening an office called the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office. To track UFOs seen by pilots in the armed forces, see? <clears throat> the Pentagon said the AARO will detect, identify, and, and attribute objects of interest to mitigate any associated threats to the safety of operations and national security. Well, guess what? It's going to be an effort to overthrow you, man. You know? So, matter of fact... uh. Let's get this in the book of Zechariah, the fifth chapter, Zechariah 5. And uh, I started at 1. It says, Then I turned and, and looked up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. See? And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth of 10 cubits. So he, he actually he seen a chariot flying over, you know? Continue on, said, then said he unto me, this is the curse that go over the face of the earth, see? So there's a, because ultimately this is going to be to this man's destruction. This is, this is not, uh, you know, when you getting rescued, you know, that means somebody is, uh, is dangerous in the midst, you know? So the, 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 you're gonna, uh, the chair is gonna be, uh, you know, the, the vehicles of salvation, but there's gonna be a curse to everyone outside. It's truth, man. It says, For everyone that still shall be cut off, as on this side, according to it. And who is that so called white man? Esau Edom, man. He is the thief, the thief. When you read, uh, Obadiah, uh, it tells you how, uh, thieves cut off by night, if robbers. But they had not had enough. This nigga don't have enough, man. His face on the money, he still want more. And he's not getting it diplomatically. He's through his sword. But it says this is this is this is who that curse going to, the ones that still have. You know, it says and everyone that swerve shall be cut off as on that side according to it. And that's what this man did. He's swore on the Bible. You know. Just like this nigga Biden, for an example, this nigga Biden, this nigga actually was inaugurated. He had his hand on the scriptures. 
Yeah, no more than 48 hours later, this nigga signed a, a law to make children trainees now, to give them a, a entrance to that lifestyle. It says, I will bring it forth, said the Lord of hosts. See? So why you think the Pentagon is in is involved? Because that's dealing with war. You see, the Lord of hosts, that's the spirit he coming in, the spirit of war. Yahweh by some our shot. These chariots is a threat to this devil, and he knows that, man. National security, of course. You know? It says, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. See? America, because this is where the, the most sightings are at, man. You look at it, just look at the origins of America. How did this place come about? The so-called white man rape, robbed, and murder, and pillage the natives, and told them to, you know, move move along. You know, it says they're gonna tum stand in, in that place when you read uh, Wisdom, is that Wisdom Solomon? I think it's Sirach, the twelfth chapter. L don't sit on by thee, lest he uh, see it and stand in that place. Seek to take thy seat. Well, that nigga did that. It says, uh, and it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that swore falsely by my name. And it shall remain in the midst of the house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. So, yeah, ultimately, the chair, the chair is going to contribute to the to the destruction, man. That fire, that lake, you know. So is is there enter into the house of the thief? Not to be a gazing stock, you know, just something to talk about, but no, it's you know, them chairs are gonna bring that destruction upon this man. And this and he knows that these other nations understand that. Uh, what's that in the book of uh Jeremiah ten? Jeremiah ten and verse uh, two. Thus said the Lord, Y'all by Shemel shall learn not the will of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. See? Yeah, these they they they're uh, being dismayed at the chariot sights. And and guess what? The thing they showing, you know, to the people, they have way more vivid pics. You know? So they know about Yahweh Shai. Michael the Archangels, you know, the, the heavenly host, the chariots, man. And this man is in fear. That's why he was driven to create a space for us, man. But when you read the scriptures, we are, we know the results, though. <laughs> you know, the results is that it's going to be nothing but dust and smell of smoke when you read the book of uh, Second Andrews, man. You know, we're just going back. Uh... Pretty much, this what uh, proves that that you know that's gonna be this war in heaven. This man, like I say, every time you hear about the Pentagon, the UFO, so-called UFOs, the Pentagon is the one that's giving you the report. So what that tells you, Revelation twelve verse verse seven, it says, "And there was war in heaven." And you got to ask yourself, which heaven? You know, Paul said he was calling to the third heaven. Because the heavens, you know, the spiritual realm. Because you got the heaven, what is the firmament? Then you got the heavens, where the heavenly bodies, you know, are at. Then you got the heavens of heavens, which is the spirit realm, man. Well, in this case, this heaven is concerned in this realm right here. Where there's going to be a, a fight in the air, pretty much. Oh, it says, uh, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought in his angels. And those angels, or the dragon, is what? Those, those you know, those fire jets. I think it's even a, a sect of planes in the military called the Blue Angels, I believe. You know? So this is, this is how that's going to put. We're seeing the build up to the fight. You hear the Pentagon talking about the so-called UFO, UFOs, the cherries of Yahweh Shemal Shai. You ain't got no choice but to 
expound on it now to 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 say something about it, cause it's it's, it's overwhelming. Going back to the article, that you know it was those are just only the ones that was reported. You know, but it's a norm seeing something in the sky. It's the norm now. Why? Because just going back to the book of St. Luke, the twenty first chapter. This is one of those tokens, our Lord Yahweh told us to look for to show us that we are in the end of the world, that this world, the end of Edom. It says, read again, Revelation 12 and 7, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against a dragon, and the dragon fought in his angels and prevailed not. Neither was there a place found any more in heaven, see? Because ultimately, uh, when the Lord overthrow this man, He's going to be overthrown. He's not going to get up and live to fight another day. See, when Yahweh Bashim Al-Shah return, our Lord return, you know, this is ultimately going to submit Esau's downfall. That's why I said, Lord, when John seen the Lord, he had all the crowns. Because when the Lord come back, he already won. He already won. They already glorify him and acknowledging and worshiping him in the heavens. But when when the time comes, it's gonna be, it's gonna happen. It's gonna take place upon the earth. That's why I said he seen our Lord. He had all them crowns on his head, so he already won. It just gotta play out, man. And we seeing the build up to it. You know, this man, his military, he got a space force, uh, going to get these different. Uh, like I said, Pentagon releasing these different files. The Pentagon talking about it. That's their war talk. But if we could read the results. What this man never he didn't prevail, and ultimately he's gonna be overthrown. He's not gonna be found anymore in heaven. His place, meaning he, him being on top, that's gonna be it, man. He's gonna fall under our feet, you know, when the Lord get through with him, man. You know, but hey, we in the time. Just going back to St. Luke 21, these are the tokens to look for. And the sightings are, are ramping up. You know, like the Pentagon is talking about it. It's not, you're watching it on National Geographic or the History Channel, you know. Uh, it's nothing like that. It's real time. The Pentagon, which is uh, the Department of Defense, it's war talk, talking about the so called UFO. But we, like I said, we can read the script. And at the end of the movie of, the, of him, pretty much he did not prevail. So yeah, I might just hold it for edifying. I'd like to give all praise and then glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect that these words are true faith and sincerity. DTA, Bible Bible. Soon. Very soon.